and opinions expressed by callers, guests, and hosts do not necessarily reflect those of the Black Talk Radio Network and Black Talk Media Project. Black Talk Radio is new black media for the new millennium. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time zone you may be in at this particular time, you have tuned in to, welcome, you have tuned in to Today's Entrepreneur. I am your blessed host, Andrea James. I thank you for being at the right place at the right time this morning from 8 to 9 a.m., Pacific Standard Time. Let me just start out by saying thank you, Father God, that you woke me up early. Not only woke me up once, you woke me up several times this morning in preparation for today's show, and I'm really excited about that. Mommy, Daddy, Ancestors got an internet radio show, and I just want to say to my worldwide listening audience, live your dreams, never give up. And that's one of the secrets to my today's guest. He had a dream and when he was a little boy, and now all these years later, he is truly living his dreams. And I am so excited to have him on the show. And I'm sure at some point, um, if it's just a second or the whole hour, that he is going to inspire someone And that's what today's entrepreneur is all about, um, inspiring, sharing information with a little bit of entertainment thrown in there as well. Today, my illustrious guest is the one and only phenomenal Joseph Collins, CEO and founder of Punch TV Studios And he is going to be sharing with us today, um, excuse me, Punch TV Studios and the IPO. So there's going to be some opportunities for my audience on the line, whether you listen now or if you listen to a podcast um, at your leisure. Uh, Mr. Collins, Mr. Joseph Collins, Welcome to today's entrepreneur. I am so excited to have you on the show today, my king. Welcome. How are you this morning? I'm doing absolutely phenomenal. I'm doing awesome, and, and thank you for uh, having me on your show. I certainly, uh, totally, and completely appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I want to say that I learned about, um, I heard about Punch TV Studios back in about 2011 by a mutual person that we know that um, was um, down at Punch Studios almost every day. And back then when he was talking about it, for me, it just went in one ear and out the other. Um, And I really didn't pay attention. (laughs) No, I didn't. I didn't pay attention back then, but I am definitely paying attention now when I heard the commercials um, during the holidays about uh, Punch TV Studios and the IPO opportunities, and the fact that you are making history with we um, yes, we are. this yes, we are. phenomenal um, business opportunity here. But I want to say yes, that are. you have definitely impressed me, the fact that you had a dream when you were uh, a little boy in 
seeing different TV shows from The Addams Family to The uh, Three Stooges and other shows, and you said, wow, if they can put together something like that, so can I. And now here we are in 2017, and you have Punch TV Studios. Where do they do that at? I'm, I'm just only, uh, only in, in America. Awe. Only in America. <laughs> <laughs> only in America. Well, I want to say you can you can start wherever you want to share your backstory, and I have pen and paper. I am ready to write as well as hopefully my listening audience, because I'm sure they're going to come away with something, some phenomenal information today, and I'm sure you're going to inspire somebody. You're inspiring me. Because oh, my um, second part, thank you. The sec, I have another part to today's entrepreneur, but this is my platform now and uh, on the internet radio. So, how um, can you share with me and my viewing audience um, a little bit of your sure. backstory? Well, you know, I was born the son of a sharecropper back in. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I, you know, <laughs> I've loved television. I've loved television and and movie making for a long time. Ever since I was a child, I used to make stop animated movies in the, in the backyard of my house. I would build entire cities, and um, I would literally make movies. The school I went to, um, they had an eight millimeter camera that no one used, and so uh, they gave the camera to me. And I says, hey, see what you can do with it. And I wanted to make animated movies. And I think that that was what started my love for television and for movie making and for uh, just the entertainment um, business, period. Um, at about 16, and after that, about 16, I was able to do an internship at, at Fox. Um, TV now, which is Fox TV now, which is WVTV, which is Channel well, I think it's a CW, I'm sorry, it's a CW channel now in um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And um, I was able to do a internship there. And uh, the internship was it's just really, really awesome, really, really awesome. And although I, although I, um, I really love the being in front of the camera, somehow I always managed to be sort of behind the scenes and sort of um, sort of behind the scenes and sort of learning what it takes to actually pull those things together. And uh, for every business, especially even entertainment, you, you need that, the business aspect of, of entertainment or the business aspect of show business, for instance. And um, I was able to really start beginning to learn that, hey, there's a whole business on this and you can make a tremendous amount of revenue, amount of money for yourself. And um, you can also make a tremendous amount of, um, you know, you, you could really do what it is you really wanted to do with that. And, and that was just really exciting for me from very early, from very early on. Very, very, very early on. Really exciting. And, and, and I love it. I love television. I, I just do. I just, I've, I've always loved television. And, and it just makes sense to me. And I know how to connect the dots as it relates to that. But in you loving television way back then, you weren't paid to watch it, were you? No, 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 no. I wasn't paid at all. I was just, it was just something that really just I wanted to do and be a part of and, and kind of be a part of the industry that did that. And I thought that I could do it better because there were no people really of color, especially at that time. There were very little people of color. And, and when I would watch movies or or shows like Julia, which probably nobody really remembers, or or you watch The Great White Hulk, where James Earl Jones was one of the first um, groundbreaking movies that that he did, and that movie was done. I almost want to say in the fifties, if I'm not mistaken, but that was one of the first uh, movies that were done. Or you you, you take a movie like uh, I like to think I'm going to say a Claudine, you know, which was you know one of the very first movies where there was like a real good storyline and everybody weren't weren't uh, being buffoonery such as in the early days of movie making or television 
or you you take the movie um, Imitation of Life. Now that one movie, I really love that movie. I still love that movie to this day. But and you know because of the message that it sent, and it really it really resonated with me to actually be who you are, you know. And 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 that was one of the things that the, in that movie, The Imitation of Life. Um, I, I want to say that the young the young girl wanted to run from who she was, but what it taught me was you have to be who you are. You have to be true to yourself, and you 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 have to just want it. Um, worse, badder than anyone else. And in television, I wanted, in movie making or in the entertainment industry at this level, I wanted it bad, worse than anyone else. This is what I do. I knew this was what I wanted to do for a career, and I wanted to do it well. And um, I, I just wanted to do it better than anyone else, and, and that's what we do, realistically. Well, so far, so good. You are in the right place now. The timing is perfect. And you are truly living your dreams. You had the ambition um, many years ago, and now you've brought that ambition, dream, desire to what I want to say is going to be a multi-million dollar company. Well, thank you, thank you. Be, oh, you're we, we like welcome. to call it a multi-billion dollar company because okay, what we're well, doing, I, I, what we're doing, I'll say multi-million, multi-billion. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Let's what, put it out what there. What we're doing, what we're doing is really groundbreaking with yeah. our IPO, and um, in the IPO, um, we are working with the community and selling our stock directly to the community. We haven't used a an investment banker because typically if you use an investment banker the people in the community never get a chance to be a part of the IPO it just it's just not something that would even come down our way most people on, on in America don't get a chance to be in an IPO and very 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 almost none African Americans and people of color get to be a part of an IPO and one of the things that I wanted to do was to really break this down and and give our community an opportunity to be a part of this and an opportunity to really um, to do this. So we're selling 50 million shares of stock in our company at a dollar per share. But here's the thing, without using an investment banker, when we begin trading on Wall Street, we also get to set the opening price of the stock. And that's what's so powerful about what we're doing. And so, a lot of people think, wow, you're selling stock for a dollar, that's cheap, but it's not that we're cheap. What I like to say is that we're inexpensive um, because we want to empower the community and and because we are opening so that when we begin trading, our shareholders can literally, we're going to literally set the opening price of the stock and then it'll either go up or down from there or do, or do what stock does, it'll do that from there. And um, and I'm really excited about that. I'm so excited about that. Believe me when I well, tell you, I'm so excited. I'm excited right along with you. May I call you Joseph? Yeah, please, please do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well, for those are of our listeners uh, worldwide, will you please explain explain what IPO is and our meaning? Sure. No. Thank I'd you. Love to. Sure. So an IPO is. The first time that a company, first you have to be legally registered with the Securities Exchange Commission. So we are legally registered with the Securities Exchange Commission, which is the body of the government that regulates public companies. Um, and um, and so we are legally registered with the Securities Exchange Commission. And what that gives us the power to do is to sell stock in our company. And in our case, we registered um, under what's known as Regulation A. And um, under Regulation A, um, that's what gives us the that's what gives us the uh, ability to sell directly to what's known as non-accredited investors. And um, we have the ability to do that. And 
And so we, it's basically like we broke up our company into all these little pieces and then breaking up our company into all these little pieces, um, we're, we're selling it to the public, uh, you know, a little piece at a time and you get to become a part owner of our company. So whatever amount you buy, whether you buy a thousand shares or 10,000 shares, you get to be a part owner which also means that you get to vote on the direction of the company. So, so you have power because you are a shareholder or a stockholder in the company, and that gives you a certain amount of power in the company. And that power is what transcends on Wall Street. And, and that's kind of what it means to be a part of an IPO. Aside from the fact that when the stock opens, and, and actually begins trading, when the stock opens and actually begins trading, you can literally watch your stock go up or down. You have the power to, if you wanted to sell your stock, you just sell your stock right away if that's what you want to do. And what we're saying to our shareholder base is we don't care whether you sell your stock or not. We're just saying we want to show you how to sell it so it's profitable to you and that you make a ton of money off of this. And, and that's really what an IPO is. You get to be the company's first investors. And usually, if you take a company and you're in first, you typically will prosper um, in your life and you typically will prosper in what you're doing. And, and that's, where, that's where that goes. That's how that goes. How does one purchase the stock online through a brokerage house? Sure. So... Because we didn't use an investment banker at this point, which we're going to go to an investment banker after we close out the IPO, but initially you just go to our website at punchtvstudios.com. That's punchtvstudios.com. You click on the Invest Now button, and then there's instructions there that, uh, you know, that'll, that'll walk you through step-by-step step on how to make your investment. Yeah. And what is the, um, is there a certain amount of um, investment money that you're looking forward to in order to um, get the show up and running? Well, it's not, now, we're not just a show. And I guess a lot of people think that I, mean, I like uh, it that the like, like company mm -hmm. overall, we, yes. we're going to develop 300 movies over the next three and a half years that we're going to license to TV stations all over the world. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that and license that all over the world. But um, that is our core business. And according to our business plan, um, by year three, after we close out the IPO, we should generate roughly between half a billion and a billion dollars in annual revenue after we close out the IPO by year three. And so this is very, very um good to know so that you know that you're working with a company that's going to um, that's really going to grow and do some wonderful things in the world of entertainment and the reason why I say a multi-billion dollar company because there's a chance when we open on Wall Street um, there's a really really good chance and more likely than not um, that if we open on Wall Street that when we open on Wall Street and begin trading the stock that the stock could trade you know over fifty, sixty, eighty dollars a share, maybe even a hundred or, or or higher. But anything over um, any, if we trade any stock over, um, we trade our stock over twenty, twenty-five dollars, thirty dollars a share. You know, we will be a multi-billion-dollar company. There's just it's just the way it is. And then you know that's going to give us the that's going to give us the wherewithal then to really go out and achieve some things to really compete at the level that you see some of the other companies competing. And that's where we want to compete. We, we want to compete with the Warner Brothers of the world. We want to compete with the, with, the, um, um, with the Viacoms of the world. We want to compete with the, uh, the Columbia Pictures of the world. And, and this, what we're doing right now, will give us an opportunity to compete at that level. And, and then there would be nothing to stop us from making acquisitions and making the thing the things that we need to do to really build into to really build into what we're doing mm -hmm. which is um phenomenal and i'm you're i'm sure you're inspiring 
uh, somebody else on the line. But there, are, as I look at uh, varied TV channels, TV programs um, sure. on the internet, uh, on regular TV, on cable TV, you have a lot of Hispanics, um, sure. uh, Asians. Everybody but us, and the uh, the programs and the TV channels that we do have on uh, the media that broadcast through uh, media twenty four seven. The ones that we have, you can count them on one hand. That's and correct. When I That's look correct. at I look at these and I'm saying, where are we at? And uh, the own TV. Uh, Inspire. Um, I think well, it's Own is Star. not owned by Oprah Winfrey. Just so people know, Own is owned by the Discovery Channel, and Oprah Winfrey is a partner in that in that kind of thing. But it's not owned by Oprah Winfrey. She has a significant oh. partnership, but it, the the actual channel is owned by Discovery. Just how many just people people don't know, didn't that. know that? Did she yeah. sell out? It was always structured like that. It was always structured wow. like that from the beginning. And and I can understand the structure. I would have did a deal like that. I would have done it. But you didn't. I totally would have done it. Huh? Is it too late for you to do that? Well, yeah. I mean, Oprah Winfrey, of course, her money has put her on another level. You know, she had the capital resources that we didn't have. We are just now, with our IPO right now, getting the capital resources that we need so that we can position our company to do a lot of great things. And uh, so we're certainly, we're certainly um, looking to do that. Certainly, I, got, I can't even begin to tell you. We're, we're looking to make alliances that make sense for the growth of the company. So when you're the CEO of a publicly traded company, like, like myself and like other CEOs who may not be African-American, but they're certainly CEOs of a publicly traded company, um, we have to, our sole job or our primary job is really to deliver returns to our investor base. So if you are a stockholder in Punch TV Studios, my primary job is to make sure that at all costs you are getting a return on investment. That's what our wow. thing is. Our, 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 that's 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 our only goal. Whatever we have to do, if it means we've got to hire more people, then we've got to hire more people. If it means we've got to lay people off, then we've got to lay people off. But our sole goal is to improve the share price so that our shareholders are able to be able to have liquidity or, or be able to sell their stock whenever they want. And that's the job of a CEO of a publicly traded company. So. You're going to, we are going to make alliances that make sense. We're going to make alliances that will help take us to a new level and really help us get to um, where we're trying to go as far as uh, meeting our revenue goals for the company. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to make dollars and cents. Well, at this time, make I'd dollars. like to in, make, make dollars and cents. At this time, mm -hmm. I'd like to invite my uh, viewing audience to um, call in on the toll-free U.S. and Canada numbers. The first number is 1-866-510-9025 or 704-802-5050. To enter questions, if you have questions or comments, you hit star star. Uh, once you dial either one of those numbers, and you will be in the queue, and star star will unmute you, and uh, I will recognize you for uh, your comments. And I know um, by now we're going to be coming up on uh, half an hour. See how that first 30 minutes went really fast? <laughs> that we're going to be going to a station break really soon. But again, for the uh, inviting listening audience uh, worldwide in U.S. and Canada, 1-866-510-9025 or 
602-502-5056 and you hit star star and you will be put in the queue and we welcome um, everyone that's listening whether you're listening on Black Talk Radio Network um, or if you're uh, chimed in and have a question or comment for our illustrious guest and I see that area code 909 last four numbers 4199 out of Pomona um, you are recognized welcome to the call welcome to the show Do you have a question or a comment good morning my good name morning. is Sharon <laughs> my name is Sharon Seymour good morning Sharon oh I think that name sounds familiar Yes, it is. It's your okay. sister. I uh, have a question. This is a welcome, wonderful, welcome. wonderful news to hear. And um, as you know, I'm an entrepreneur at heart, Andrea. Yes, and you are. I, <laughs> I'm interested in purchasing the stocks. We're, on the website, can we find information regarding the company? You mentioned um, that there are 300 productions that are planned for the next three years. Uh, will there be information regarding um, the uh, future growth, uh, current situation, etc. concerning well, the punch? Certainly, we've disclosed everything that the company is going to do on our website. And if you go to punchtvstudios.com, click on the Invest Now button, at the top of that page, you will see our filings with the SEC. And our filings with the SEC, you'll see Form 1A. And inside of Form 1A, it actually tells you everything that you would probably want to know and not want to know <laughs> about the company. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful. Uh, is there a did that answer your question? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Great. Is there a time frame um, that the stocks are available before you go public? When do you? Well, we're actually already public. So we're just in the it. IPO phase right, of right, it right, right now. We just haven't began trading yet. So yep. we hope we're going to close out the IPO sometime in the next 90 days. We, we are planning to close it out in the next 90 days, and it looks like we're headed that direction, which I think is awesome. Um, and then hopefully we're going to have our shareholders meeting sometime in June or July so that we can educate our shareholders so that we can prepare to trade. We're going to bring in about four or five investment bankers in, during that time. And then hopefully a couple weeks after the shareholders meeting, we'll begin trading on Wall Street. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Sharon. you for your Yes, thank you so much. Okay, I don't see the number, but I see a gentleman uh, from Memphis, Tennessee. And Memphis. It, um, first name starts with an L, last name starts with a W. Um, you have a question, and welcome to the call. Welcome to uh, today's entrepreneur. Are you there, caller? Good morning. Yes, Good can you morning. hear me? We can hear good you morning. loud and clear. Good morning, good morning, Andrea. This is the one and only LaRon Woodard. You know who I am. <laughs> I know who you are. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I really appreciate this phone call uh, because I've been hearing about uh, Punch TV Studios advertised on uh, 103.5 quite often here in Memphis. And I did call and I'm very interested, and I do want to know how long will the price be what it is right now? Well, the, the price the is going to be what it is right now. Um, the price is going to be what it is right now during the IPO. After we begin trading, um, we hope the price will never see a dollar again. That is absolutely um, one of the things, and that's one of the things I said earlier, we're inexpensive, but we're not cheap. We're just doing it this way because I have a very specific goal 
that I want to reach, and you can't really reach that goal with the investment bankers. Initially, you have to, you, you, you know, you can raise the money, so raising the money has never been like a big issue, but controlling the opening price when we began trading, that is a big issue. And so um, we certainly hope to open way in excess of, of, of where we are. And um, I, and I'm excited about. I'm really really excited about that. But right now, you can purchase a stock for a dollar during the IPO. Because I did, I did, I actually spoke to a young lady, and okay. she told me about she told me about the price, and I do have the information, things like that. Um, but I told her how much the pro, I, I told her how much I was planning on doing. I just said that just off of the commercial. Right, right, but right. Then she, well, what were you talking about she, doing? Uh, probably a hundred dollars at that time. Okay. Okay. But then she was, she was like, well, "When, when can you do more?" You know, and I was like, "Is she trying to sell me?" Or, you, you understand what I'm saying? So it, I, I really like what I saw, and I'm going to do it, and I'm actually glad that Andrea, uh, had this, had this call. I told her I'd be listening. Right. right. So I, I appreciate well, you know, here, here's here's the thing, and and, and 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 we're doing this on purpose right now, and we're doing it more because of servicing. So what happens, and what has happened to us, is that the people that invest under a hundred dollars, um, we typically have to spend a lot of time servicing them, and to the point to where now the hundred dollar investment is. It has like devalued itself and, and people don't think about it if you have an, a person on the phone for half an hour you know you know from from my point of view we're paying that person's salary to be able to talk to you we are paying the connection fees we're paying everything that it takes to do that so by the time you talk to somebody for a half an hour it might have cost the company like fifty dollars an hour you know maybe fifty dollars for that half hour and so because we're in the closing phases now, what we're saying is, hey, if you're doing under $1,000, you know, you can really just do that on our website. You can go right to our website, punchtvstudios.com. We have instructions there on how to do that, right? And, right. And, and, and then you can go through it step by step. But certainly, if you want to invest $100, you can invest $100, but you just got to go do that one kind of on your own without... Um, for lack of a better word, utilizing too much of the company's resource, resources and servicing. And typically what we find, too, is because it takes about 8 to 12 weeks to get your stock certificates, a lot of people who are um, invest under $100, they call a lot. You know, they call a lot. And so we're spending a lot of time with people because they're calling and now we should be closing other deals to get to our goal so that everybody could win, but we're servicing people whom are calling. You understand what I'm saying? Well, now, what, uh, when I did LeBron, speak to the young LeBron, man, LeBron, if I could, LeBron, if I can ask you to hold that question, we do have to take a station break. So if you could yep. hold that last question, we will be right back. Um, you're tuning into today's entrepreneur, and stay tuned. We'll be right back. What'd you get? Radio since 2008, providing new black media for the masses. Okay, that's uh, I. We've tuned in, and um, you're back with us. It's today's entrepreneur. I am your host. Andrea James, and we are interviewing the illustrious, the one and only, uh, Live Your Dreams CEO and founder, Joseph Collins, with Punch TV Studios. 
and he is literally living his dreams and very, very possibly making history. So, LeBron, if you can continue with, uh, did you have another question for uh, Joseph? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, Mr. Collins, uh, what I, I what I was what I was mentioning or meaning was that I, I was initially wanting to do initially wanted to do one hundred, but right. then if I wanted to add if I wanted to add more over the time before the cutoff, I can't right. do that. Correct. Sure. I mean, so you won't saying, add. You have to. You have to. So let's say because what we try to tell people is that every transaction, there's a twenty-five dollar stock certificate fee on a per transaction right. basis. So whether you invest a right. hundred dollars or you invest ten thousand dollars, there's still a twenty-five dollar okay. per transaction fee, and that goes to the okay. transfer agent, and that's the the group that we hired or contract with so that they could monetize your stock certificate so you'll be able to deposit it into your broker-dealer when the time comes. And so what we try to tell people is, well, instead of doing 100 at one time, that way you can, like, like let's say if you buy 200 shares of the stock, but you're doing it in two different transactions, right? That I means that you're going to uh-huh. spend at least 50 bucks in transactions, you know. whereas right. it, it would be but- easier for you to pay 225 and you have, and you'll get 225 shares of stock, and you still just have that one transaction fee. Okay, I'm okay. so glad that I actually got a chance to talk to you about that because that's that's the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, yes, sir. Because I, I said I do want to do more, so I, I I want to see how how that would work and what was the time frame before things either closed or went up. You know what I'm saying? Lebron, right, I you thank you so get much. Your stock, May I just answer one more question? Sure. You want sure. to get your stock now. You don't want to. This isn't. Let me tell you something. On Wall Street, IPOs typically close out in three days, and they raise a billion dollars in three days. So, yeah. but we, because we went directly to the community, it's kind of drug on a little while. But now, and, and then two things typically happen. Usually, when you invest in an IPO, you're not going to invest in an IPO under ten thousand dollars. It just, it's just not. It's just unheard of. That's one thing. The second part of it is it usually closes in about three days, even for a billion dollars. You open up Monday, and by Tuesday night, sometimes Monday afternoon or sometimes Wednesday morning, the IPO is sold out, and then the stock starts trading, right? So we are in that phase right now where we're closing this thing out so that we can get on the trading, you know, and and that's why that there's an urgency for people to get this now. Tell your family, okay, you can only do $100 or $200 or $500. You do that, tell your family members, tell everybody to get in because this is a really rare opportunity in American business. We, we are the only African-American company on, um, on Wall Street doing an IPO, period. We're the only company doing an IPO that's directed towards the community, period. I, I mean, that's how rare this is right now what an opportunity and at that point um, Laurent Woodard I thank you for uh, chiming in and asking your questions and I'm glad that uh, all your questions were answered so please continue to uh, listen in and I think you might be on my guest list for the future so we thank you and I see that uh, area code 909 last four numbers 4199 that might be Miss Seymour she has another question Ms. Seymour, go right ahead. Hi. Yes, I do. Uh, will you close the uh, IPO stage? And as you mentioned, typically a uh, stock will sell out within three days. Once you have earned your targeted um, funds, will it close mm-hmm. before the three days? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if we if we if we had a major guy come in tomorrow and buy up everything that was left, we would close right away. I mean, it would be closed. So we're only selling 50 million shares, which is not even a lot of money. So we're only selling 50 million shares at a dollar a share. So if we if our if, if the 49th share <coughs> sold sold Friday, the IPO is closed. Period. That's it. Okay. 
that. Did he answer your question, Ms. Seymour? Yes, he did. And uh, something for, you know, he mentioned earlier a 90 day window. But um, it's interesting. I, I, the concept, um, as you say, is not um, common, but I think it's empowering to the community. And I will share this information with others, but, you know, also letting them know. Uh, read uh, the information and make your decision because it's not guaranteed to remain open for 90 days. That's 100% correct. And um, and the other thing is, it's like you, you take a company like Facebook, like I had a friend who was trying to buy into the Facebook IPO and he, he was spending $50,000 and they wouldn't even let him in at 50000 You know, these things are like really, really rare. I mean, they're just, they're just so awesome, and, and it's, but it's just like really, really rare. And, uh, but we have opened the door now for, um, for us to participate in capital markets, and, and, I, and I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited. I can't even begin to tell you. Every day I wake up, I, I'm, just, I'm just super duper excited. It's empowering. It definitely is empowering. Um, one last question, and I'm saying, well, for now. <laughs> uh, once the IPO stage is over, I've often, you know, um, bought into stage through a brokerage company or someone else. Um, will it then, will the shares then transfer to your designated um, brokerage company, or will there be something um, within the current structure that someone could um, continue to use, or how will that work? So, yes, no, definitely. You would take your stock certificate because it has been monetized by um, by the transfer agent. We use Security Transfer Agency out of uh, Plano, Texas, right? And and so we use them. And, and then you would be able to deposit it into any brokerage account that you have. So you'd be able to deposit it into E-Trade or, or Charles Schwab or Options Express or whoever you have, you'd be able to deposit your your stock certificate into your trading account, Ameritrade or Spider or whoever you use. And at the shareholders meeting, we're going to go over that so that people will be aware of what they have to do in order to uh, monetize their stock. Okay, thank you. Ms. Seymour, thank you so much for um, uh, your uh, informative questions that uh, I hopefully were answered by um, Joseph this morning. Uh, Joseph, I want to say that um, did you have any, uh, how do you say it, brick walls that you came up against to get to the point oh that God. you are now? Oh, Can my you share God. a couple Girl, of those with us? Let me tell you something. We, we have... There's two ways to do business. You can do business the right way, or you can do it the wrong way. <laughs> and which way did you do it, the something. wrong way or the right way? I did it the wrong way for a very long time. I mean, for a very long time, I've just had a dream. We didn't have any money to pull the dream off. We didn't have any, you know, we just didn't have the capital to work with. I didn't, I didn't know where to go to get money to help fund the idea that I have in my mind. It was tough to get people to, at that time, to get people to believe in what I was doing. Um, a lot of people um, would, would, would automatically, because you're doing something different, they automatically say, oh, well, you're scamming people, or are you doing this, or you got to battle that, you know, and then they'll post things on blogs or on the internet that say things that are totally untrue, people that you've never met. You know, I, I've had to do just a lot of, I made a lot of mistakes early on just because of lack of capital. I hired the wrong people one time. I mean, there's nothing worse than thinking you've got a good business and you hired all the wrong people. And then you hire all the wrong people. You can't carry out your idea. The they can't get they don't have what capacity to carry out your idea. You understand what I'm saying? And so, yes. I, and I hired all of the wrong people. And I imagine this happens to a lot of entrepreneurs where you're just trying to get by, but you hire the wrong people. And then instead of them executing your agenda, they're executing their own agenda, but you're left holding the bag. So, done those kinds of things like that. I've made I've made so many mistakes until I can't even begin to tell you anymore. 
But what I can tell you is that I learned from those mistakes, and we've grown uh, because of the mistakes that I made early on. So as an entrepreneur, you're going to make a tremendous amount of mistakes. You're going to because sometimes, like what we're doing, is groundbreaking. There's no roadmap what I'm doing right now. There's no roadmap. There's you're nobody you're creating the roadmap, Joseph. We're creating the roadmap for other people to follow. Hopefully, we want other people to follow um, in the well, future. And, and, and so is, I made a tremendous amount of mistakes. This is where um, once you get started, uh, you might want to come out with the book. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to it. do that. I'm glad There's you somebody that. else out there that every time he does something, um, he turns around and writes a book. And people, myself and other people this morning, from you being um, little and uh, little boy, seeing on TV, wow, how can I make money at that? Although you may not have thought that exact question at that time, um, uh, you have now thought about it, and here you are. And um, I want to say we're coming to the close of today's entrepreneur for this particular segment. My special guest has been the one and only Joseph Collins. I am just in awe to have you as a guest on my show. And it's possible that I may want to have you on a future show, want to follow up um, to find out what has happened with the IPO once you're up and running to talk about some of the shows that you do have on um, and that they are thriving, uh, who knows? You and I may be sitting down and talking um, about some ideas that and some things that have been on my heart. And I thank you, number one, for showing up, as I thank all my listening audience worldwide for showing up today for today's entrepreneur and I want to say for future reference and also I want to thank you thank your assistant for um, being so gracious to uh, well, help me get in me. touch with you today she is an awesome woman and for those who want to share my information with uh, others and get on um, today's entrepreneur texting list so you won't miss another show Please text the word today to 323 672 4949 and you will go into today's entrepreneur uh, text list. So come Monday morning, you can have um, pen and pad ready for the information that, that you're going to hear um, from my illustrious guests. This is going to be a fabulous year for today's entrepreneur and me, your host, Andrea James. I am so excited. Just about every day or wherever I go, I meet entrepreneurs, and it's almost a ripple effect as one person hears that I'm doing an uh, Internet radio show for entrepreneurs. They, say, they call up people or wherever I go. They introduce me, and people are handing me their cards, or they're saying telling me a little bit about who they are and they're telling me about their backstory. So my future wish guest list is just growing by leaps and bounds and the fact that I was able to interview uh, Joseph Collins today. You and I have not met face to face, but I'm really excited about um, the project, the business that you have started and the fact that I'm sure you you keep inspiring yourself and other people that you may not even know that you inspire. Um, any last words for us before we wrap sure, up? Sure, absolutely. I, I would I would love to tell people visit our website at punchtvstudios.com. You can take a look at some of the phenomenal things that we that we're doing. We've also created another really phenomenal social media site called nabuki.com. N a b u k i e dot com. You can create your own pages on Nabuki. You can upload your videos to Nabuki. You could really, if you really want to follow us, you could follow us on Nabuki.com so you could follow what we're doing and see what Thank we're doing. So, so please visit Nabuki.com. Please do that. And if you would like to contact us, you can contact us directly at 310 
419-5914 if you would like to make an investment or or you have investment questions and those um, kinds of things like that. And we just love for you to be a part of this movement. And I would like to thank you this morning, too. Thank you for having me on your show. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, and thank you so much. And uh, I want to say God bless everyone. I am thankful that you uh, took the time out of your busy schedule to uh, be on my show today. And as we wrap up in closing, breaking chains of poverty, excuse me, creating bonds of prosperity, staying in the black, 365 by any legal means necessary. I am your host, Andrea James, and this is today's Entrepreneur. We will hear you and see you next time. Thank you.